Okay, this is how we're going to set up uh, the Bunsen burner in our lab. You'll notice here is a gas valve to turn it on or off. And this is our Bunsen burner. It's a little bit different from some other videos you may have seen. Uh, there is no additional valve. All you can do is open and close the valve stem to let in oxygen through here. Okay. The gas comes through the hose and it mixes with oxygen in this area and that will cause our flame. It's best to get it started with it all the way closed. You can go ahead and open it all the way or you can control um, the amount of gas by the valve right here. Other uh, Bunsen burners have it on here. We do not. Come in from the side and using your striker, create a spark. And you can see a nice big flame. It's a bit too big. And you come back to the valve and we can start to shut it and that will reduce the amount of gas that's there. All right, this is a bright flame, but it's not actually burning the gas very well. This is called incomplete combustion. There's not enough oxygen. And so there's a lot of particles still uh, unburnt uh, that are uh, causing a lot of the color, the yellow color. To make it hotter, we can open the, the barrel by turning it counterclockwise and it'll allow more oxygen into the flame. And you can see now a blue flame starts to show up. This is getting hotter now. Blue is hotter. And the more oxygen that I let in, the hotter it will get. And eventually, you should start to see when it gets very hot, there is, um, it almost looks like there's two flames, an inner cone and a larger uh, flame. The inner cone, the tip of it, is the hottest part of the flame. And so that's our basic operation of a Bunsen burner. Then you can move uh, your crucible and whatever you needed to on top. It's very hot, of course, up here. Now to turn it off, or in case of emergency something happens, you can turn it off right here. And that's it. You're done. So be careful. It could be hot. When you're done, give it a few moments to cool down. And it should be just fine. That is the operation of our Bunsen burner here in General Chemistry Lab. Don't forget the location of the gas valve near the door that controls all the gas in the lab. If it's on, you'll see a red light. If it's off, you will not see the lights.